Oh shit! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose! Hi, welcome back. L.A. was just telling me about his wonderful invention. My drunk ex escapade yesterday. Uh, I had a I had a really bad headache at work. Like, ever since I woke up. And so, um... Yeah, I... Fine, Leo. Alright. Uh, yeah, so I went home a little bit early yesterday. I was trying to rest up, and my headache just wouldn't go away. So I was like, I'll use the old-fashioned medicine. Just, like, had some whiskey. But some whiskey turned into a lot more whiskey than I expected. So <laughs> here I was at, like... Fast forward a few hours, it was like 9 p.m. I was like, man, I hate figuring out where to land in Fortnite. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna write an app. And I'm pretty sure this already exists. Like there's websites that do this, but I'm like, I wanna make one myself. So uh, it's a Windows application, like a little .exe file. It's like 11 kilobytes. I already compiled it. Uh, it's like a series, I just showed it to James. Uh -huh. um, you run it and it's a little Windows application with a button and a text box, and you click the button and it randomly generates a place for you to land in Fortnite. <laughs> so I like go to this one I'd been drinking a lot, and I was like, "Okay, here we go." <laughs> and it took me like five minutes or something. <laughs> it's basically an eeny miny mo app. Yeah, it's just <laughs> I added by hand like 28 places to land or something, and then. I made a random number chip. Well, I didn't make the random number generator. I did it in C sharp XAML, um, and yeah, I had w WPF for those of you coders. All right. Smokey the bear says it's time to die, bitch. Get out of my, What's get out of my forest. <laughs> Smoke these nuts. Uh, yeah, dude. So I coded that, and I was like, sweet, dude. <laughs> it's oh, fun. Oops, 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 uh -oh, oops, oops, uh -oh, oops, uh -oh, oops. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Push this. Ah, phew. Yeah. Hey, you, oh. hey, you still haven't played Uncharted 4, right? No, I haven't beat Uncharted 3 yet, so... Actually, um... I need to beat Uncharted 3. Then I'll play Uncharted 4. This isn't a spoiler. Um, there, There's a lot more stealth in Uncharted 4. Because, mm. like... They... I want to play that Chloe Uncharted game. Oh, uh... Yeah, don't play that until you beat Uncharted 4, because there's spoilers in it. Totes dog. Um... But, uh... Yeah, no, there's... I think after The Last of Us... They realized, huh, maybe with the stealth we made in this game, mm -hmm. maybe we can... Last of Us is great. I'm so excited for the new Last of Us. Oh, yeah, dude. I can't wait for that. It's going to be good. I I have a feeling... Here's here's my thing with... Okay, there are those two guys at the bottom of the hill. I think we have to get them at the same time. Yeah, okay. I'll I take the one the... on the left. Okay. Nice. I was going to say I got the one on the right. Yeah. Two. Let's go now. Approach, right, approach, so. approach. Three, two, one. Grab. Murder! <laughs> Wow, that was easy. Good job. Okay, we didn't kill them. We just no, put them no. to sleep. Incapacitated. <laughs> They're taking a nap. Yep. So yeah, dude, it's funny. Um, I, oh. my thing about um the fact that they're making a second one is like okay, that means they have to be making a third one, right? Just keep your head low. So that means the tension won't be as high while you're playing the second one because it's they like they have to make a third one. Why? Don't well, I mean, me. we just keep going. Because. They don't have to. There. Here, well, keep, no, keep coming along. But that's what Naughty Dog always does. Oh. They always, like, with, with Crash, they made three. Jack, they made three. Dude, they waited a long time to make Last of Us 2, or maybe it's been in development this whole time? Well, well, see, then they made three Uncharted games, and then they made The Last of Us, and then they were like, eh, let's do one more Uncharted. That We we could get a lot of mileage out of that series. Yeah. So they did. And Was four the best one? Um, Not in my opinion. I think the third one's still my favorite, but... That's like the unpopular opinion. Oh. Most people say the second one or the fourth one is the best. Mm. Um, but yeah, so like, I'm just imagining if if they do what they normally do, they will make a third one, maybe to finish off as a trilogy. And okay. if they do that, then the whole time I'll be playing the second one, like I'll be able to get sucked into the drama. But then there will be times where I'm like, oh wait a sec, they're they're probably gonna make a third one. Okay, well I guess Joel and Ellie will still be alive. So. No need to worry about them dying. Could have said no that's what Sherlock. you think. Yeah, no that's what I think. At least. Ellie is actually going to be infected in the second one. I'm calling it, even though she's like immune, uh -huh. right? I feel like there's going to be some super breed zombie, and it's going to infect her. However long it takes we'll see. Yeah. And then the third one will be trying to save her. She actually kisses a girl in one of the opening cutscenes. Uh, yeah, doesn't she? Okay. Did hold you see on, the dance? You have to go around the other side. Oh, I do. Okay. I thought she kisses a girl in the flashback of the first game. E yes, in the, in the DLC. Yeah, but this is a different girl. 
it, it's just like three, an advance. Get up. Three, two, one, go. Nighty night, bitch. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, no, I'm it's looking forward dude. to that. I... You know, ever since we played that Spyro episode, and I was being a curmudgeon, I was like, who, who cares about people's sexuality and stuff? You know, I thought that over, and I was just like, you know, I think maybe you brought it up. I was like, that's a good point. Like, uh, Oh, the having, Beauty and the Beast stuff? Yeah, it's just like having diversified characters, it probably does help people who are, you know, non, I don't know, straight. Uh, I mean, I, th I think I, I was reading something uh, that I was reading an interview with the director, and he said, yeah, no, I mean, a lot of kids, a lot of kids watch Disney movies, so... Mm -hmm. Even if it's a little tiny moment, mm -hmm. it's like a super tiny moment at the very end of the movie. Yeah. It's like just thrown in there. Uh, um, yeah. It's just LeFou looks over Let's and is like, way. hey, guy, I'm going to dance with you. And yeah. that's it. Under the bridge. Well, I mean, like, for what, no, what I was saying, what I was poo pooing on, I was like, why does it have to be about that? It's a kid's movie. But also, I like, I thought about it even more. I was like, okay, well, I grew up around, you know, like, I had some gay friends. What are you so, like, crazy? I, I grew up with. You know, Don't like heights, man, okay? Um, <laughs> okay, you're going right. Uh, what? Okay, so we need oh. to vote. I want to go under the bridge, stealth. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, what, do you want to go over? I don't care. Your choice. Uh, let's go under the bridge. Okay. That sounds more exciting. Cool. Um, and you know, like, uh, my friend group growing up, you know, we were all a bunch of different um, races and backgrounds. Like, a lot of us, not not me, but a lot of people weren't even born in the United States, right? Uh -huh. They moved here. So, like, I grew up with, uh, you know, a diverse group of people. So, to me, I'm just like, why the fuck does that matter? But thinking about it, there are a lot of people who probably, you know, as a young age, maybe never met somebody who's gay or, you know, not even from the United States. So, maybe it is kind of good to get some exposure to different factors. Yeah, because, like, a, a lot of people don't have, like, the benefit of growing up around people of different backgrounds. Yeah. So, like, I remember when uh, Princess and the Frog, the... Disney movie came uh -huh. out a decade ago. That was the first uh, black Disney princess. Yeah. And my cousin, she said, yeah, my friend is so happy she's finally going to get a princess. I'm like, oh, that's sweet. Yeah, so, dude. Just, so, yeah, you know, stuff like that. I think, yeah, I just did a total 180 <laughs> in the game and with my words from the Beauty and the Beast segment in Spyro. Like, I, I actually think it, it, it is good really to heights. have that. Down. Yeah, you, you were just thinking about it. I was know. just like, this is stupid. Why, why does this even matter? And I'm like, well, to some people, Shit, it's actually probably positive and helpful. So, eh. Yeah, I, I changed my mind on that. <laughs> my guy's afraid of heights. <laughs> Let's get into cover. Ooh. But, you know, this is 2019. We're actually not allowed to change our mind on things. Um, if you think something and then change your mind, it means you're dumb. And, um, you know... <laughs> hmm, I don't believe I've heard such a thing. I think you need to educate me more on this, Mr. Cletus. Well, one time I once ate a Pop-Tart, and then I said it was bad, and then I couldn't get it back without barfing, so I had to barf really hard. <laughs> <laughs> You know one of my favorite scenes in Spongebob? Oh, I know what you're saying. Why, it tastes so good! I think I'd like to try it a second time! Yes. He it's spits like, it out. It's one of my favorites. And everyone's like, Ow! Gross! I think I could try that again! He, he spits it out and it just looks perfect, like it hasn't even been yeah. chewed. Doesn't make any so sense. So good. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, Narok. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this game more and more as it goes on. It's it's very different than normal. And I love co-op games, too. Yeah, this so, is... Uh, this is fun. Maybe we should do more of this kind of stuff. Well, I mean, we still got to play Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze at some point. Oh. <laughs> so you can carry me? <laughs> carry Wait. you on my back? All right, so you Am cross the bridge. Yeah, and then you find a way to help me get across, I think. Oh, yeah, you open oh, the door. Down this door. Oh, God. Get ready for more of this, you guys. We're going to be... <laughs> Freaking talking about bullshit wall when we should be focusing. Yeah, this is fun though. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm enjoying Especially, it so I like playing games I have not played before yet on Goobs. Yeah, this is a. I, I'm I, more interested in it rather than. Like, it's easy for me to get dis or, uh, just bored of what we're playing when I've played the game a million times, you know? Like Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, I love hey, those games, but Come on, when I'm replaying a game, I'm like, eh. Ah, none of this, over there? you know, is gonna surprise me or. Yeah. Mm, just gets old. And you playing a newer game too is kind of refreshing as well. Yes, yeah, so we don't have to worry about shitty camera angles. And nah, stuff. I don't think so. Yeah. It's a really big drop, and the For currents real. in the water are too strong. 
I'm making sure we really? haven't dropped any frames. Trust sorry. Me, I've been hiking up yeah, and I think years. we're gonna. Well, I will invest in a new Take um, my hand or I'll help you laptop out. soon. Do you trust me? <laughs> <laughs> Do you trust me? Not really. So Come on, that, you bitch. So we can record at 60 frames a second, 1080p. Yeah, totally. Be nice. Which doesn't matter for our older games, because they're not even 720p, 30 <laughs> frames per second. Like, a lot of those Nintendo games are 20 frames a second, at like 480p. This is the way out. Yeah, Banjo too. if it. you play it on it. Majora's Mask is 20. Dude, I still want to play Majora's Mask so bad. Oh, uh, we will at some point. What's the next what game we're going to play? It, I think it's totally your choice. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, the last choice... Yeah, I guess Donkey Kong 64 was your choice, right? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. This one, I, I mean, is kind this of is, both of ours. Yeah, this is we're doing this for... This is Narok's choice. <laughs> yeah, this is Narok's choice. But we both agreed, like, this would be fun. Um, hmm. And I'm having a well, lot of fun with this game. Let's see. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it a bit more. Okay, cool. I know so I have... Well, a, I, you I, want I, to play I, Tropical I, Freeze? I am totally down. Uh, me too. Um, Super Mario Maker 2. Oh, yeah, we have to play that so <clears throat> Oh, and also, uh, the Crash Team Racing remake is coming out this oh, month. Oh, yeah. Yep. We gotta play that play and it. Mario Maker. Let's not take Those will be small, though. That cop. Yeah. There must be another way past them. Oh, wait. We need to find another way. That cop will spot back. us. Oh, okay, here. You stay here, standing on this precarious cliff, and, um... Nah, I feel like I'm gonna have to boost you up. Oh. Clever, clever. Meow! I'm a cat, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Royal Goops, will we knock him out, or will we invite him to our birthday party? Hey, wait, before you stop, did you ever hear that dumb joke where these three crooks hide in these bags, and the cop comes in, he kicks the first one, woof, he kicks the second one, meow, he kicks the third one, potato. You never heard that joke? No. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I like starch on my potato. Do you ever think it's weird how when you boil noodles and then you let it sit after you take the noodles out, if you don't drain the water out, there's like a weird film that forms on the top of the water. And then if you put your hands in it, it's really gross. You can like pull out the starch and then you take it, you take it to the grocery store. And when they ask you to pay in cash or credit, you throw the starch down on the table and you say, Starch this up, baby! And then they, then they lick it up. And, and this is ASMR now. Okay. Uh, that's all. What's ASMR? Asmer. Oh, okay. See you guys next time. <laughs>